The construction team will weave 1.3 miles of new stream channel through the meadow. These meadows act like big sponges. During the rainy season, they absorb water. During the dry summer season, that water is slowly released into the creek, providing a really good source of cold, clean water that helps improve fish habitat. Twists and turns create pools for fish, and regular flooding helps support streamside trees and shrubs. Over time, the restored creek, complete with its abundant fish habitat, newly created wetlands, and lush meadow will slowly take shape. In phase one, 2009, what we're focused on is basically digging the channel, adding water to it, and then planting it. And we're really trying to set up the basic structure of the new channel. Then we'll come back a couple years later and finish the job by redirecting the creek into the new channel and allowing that new channel to flow. The excavation team, which specializes in stream restoration and wetland construction, works steadily as it moves through the landscape, slowly transforming the dry, dusty meadow back into what will one day again be the home of a meandering, life-nourishing creek. Restoration of this scale definitely carries with it some inherent impacts, and so we've just been working really closely with our restoration partners and with the crews that are out on the ground making the project happen to ensure that we protect those resources, and they're just doing an incredible job. Guiding the construction, Paul Powers with the Forest Service assembles whole trees of all shapes and sizes into natural-looking log jams. These are just providing the structure to to keep it in place for a while until that riparian community can develop and then let it be a dynamic system after that. The logs serve as the backbone of the creek, providing erosion control and fish habitat. As the days pass, the new creek channel slowly begins to take shape. Over the course of eight weeks, the construction team moves more than 30,000 cubic yards of soil and 600 whole trees as it crafts Weiches Creek's new course through Camp Polk Meadow. Historically, the creek used to run dry. Uh, it ran dry as a result of, uh, of stream flows dropping, uh, large irrigation withdrawals that took place through the work of the Deschutes River Conservancy. We've seen a real increase in stream flows as water rights have been acquired and put back in stream. Uh, water has been leased from, uh, from landowners who don't need those waters. Uh, it's been a critical part of this reintroduction uh, and, uh, and the restoration of this watershed. A trickle of water through the new channel will slowly start to recharge the meadow, provide moisture for the new plants, and prepare the channel to be completed in 2012. We've already seen just a um, huge increase in the amount of birds coming in since we've brought the water in. And uh, it's just really um, fun to watch how the meadow is already changing before us, even in the midst of the construction. To judge by what's happened over here with the willows, maybe that kind of intervention in 10 or 12 years with water uh, added from the creek can create something that will look, uh, to our eyes at least, like what we think we would have seen before those first homesteaders came. The short-term impact on this landscape will lead to a long-term healthy and wild place. A landscape restored, nurtured, and growing. Soon the creek will meander through the meadow with clean, cool water, just as it might have hundreds of years ago.